Previously on Gas Burners Won't Light, Gas Oven Won't Spark. From experience, I know that's the Oven Spark Control Module. Here's the new one. The new one's already come in. It's an orange part. It is located here on this model. It was located in a different spot on the smaller Hardwick range. So let's tackle that job. All right. So the sparker, spark module, is under this cover. And obviously we're going to be dealing with electricity. So the first thing we want to do is reach down here and unplug the stove. We don't have to disconnect the gas. Just have to work on this here. So I'll take off these screws, see if we can expose it. Okay, so here's the old one. We'll have to unscrew it from the stove. Try to swing it around and very carefully mark all those wires. Okay, these are the two units. This is actually the failed unit from the 20 inch Hardwick. And it's marked. Well, I'm feeling pretty stupid right now. Shortly after I fixed both of our gas ranges, I realized that these Harper Wyman Cool Light Model 6513 igniter modules come right apart. The back covers just pop right off. The circuit boards can be easily desoldered, which I've already done. There's only 20 parts on these boards they're all through hole they're not surface mount that means they can be easily tested and i've tested them all and i only find one thing wrong with both of these boards they both have exactly the same problem and that is Notice that one board has no board references, the other board does. This is the 1980 board, this is the 1979 board, but they're identical otherwise. And the only thing I find wrong, identified as R2 on this board, was in the same board location here. Goes right there between the two neons. This is a 68 million ohm half watt carbon film 10% resistor. The color code blue is 6, gray is 8, blue is 6 more, that's 6 zeros after the 68, 68 million ohms. If you never learned your resistor color codes, download this free PDF from UCSD. It's open. It's open on both boards. How could I have missed such an easy repair? I'm quite familiar with automobile coils. Owning Volkswagens, these fail every few years. This is a coil block from my Golf MK4. And even though there are no cracks, no physical signs of damage on this, one of these spark towers has no spark. And the point being, you cannot take this apart and try to repair it. It's a sealed, all epoxied here. It's a sealed unit. And here's one from my Jetta Mark IV. Similar problem. This one's cracked. We got cracks in the towers. So moisture gets, there's a crack right there. There's some more cracks in it. Moisture gets in this. On a foggy day or a damp day or when it's raining, it'll skip until the engine warms up. It's all cracked in here too. But the point being, this does not come apart. There's no way you're going to fix this. It's all epoxied. So I'm thinking the stove sparker is the same as these coils, but it's not. And so that's how I managed to miss it. Now, what about these 68 million ohm resistors? How can you tell that they're open? It's extremely difficult. Very few inexpensive meters like this one can measure 68 million ohms, no matter what you do. The highest resistance scale here, 2000K, 
So you add three more zeros, that would be two mega ohms. This even struggles with two mega ohms. I've not been able to read two mega ohms on this Harbor Freight meter. It's a very nice meter, but it can't read that high. It'll read one mega ohm fine, not two, even though it's, it says it can. Probably the resistors are a little high value. What about these fairly nice flukes? Like this is a $129 meter. I've actually got some $200 flukes. These are only rated, this one's rated 35 mega ohms. I do have one that's rated 40 mega ohms. Neither of these can read a 68 mega ohm resistor. So how are we going to do it? Well, we're going to apply some high school science. Now, these are one mega ohm resistors. We know that if you put resistors in series, you add up the values. So let's try to measure these. Let me show you how to troubleshoot your, your module. All right, let's, let's prove first that they're one meg. What does the meter say? It says one meg. All right, prove that this one's working. What does the meter say? One meg. Okay, let's go across the entire assembly. We should get two megs. What does the meter say? Two megs. Okay, so that's resistors in series. But we also know that if you put resistors in parallel, then you divide by two. You don't multiply by two, you divide by two. So now we've got these same big ohm resistors in parallel. And I should get half a meg. So let's see what happens. What does the meter say? Half a meg. And that's how we can use a meter that's rated for 35 or 40 mega ohms. You would need to buy two of these 68 mega ohm resistors you would need to do the exact same thing. You would need to put them in parallel. And it should read half of 68 million ohms. All right. Put them together. So this meter can definitely read 34 million ohms. And we're still wide open. So that's how you'd prove that you started with good resistors. Because once you separate them, this meter can't read it. Even my $200 flukes can't read this. Even a $1,700 fluke 28 can't read this. All right, so how are we going to affect this repair? Well, now that we know what's most likely wrong with your spark module, you don't have to desolder anything. All you have to do is pop off the cover, memorize this board location right here, just tack in a new 68 meg right across those spots. Now you can measure it. If you have a meter that can read 35 mega ohms or greater, you can come in here and measure this and your meter should say that it's open. But if the one down below was good, your meter will say 34 mega ohms. Anyway, it's a very cheap way to fix these modules. Is it absolutely guaranteed? I would say it's 95% guaranteed. I don't think I missed anything. So I'm thinking that's all you need to do. It's only going to cost pennies. Very hard to find, but these should work. You can give it a try. And if it works for you, well, then you'll be saving about 140 bucks. And be sure to leave a comment to help others. Now, is this going to work on other makes and models of Spark modules? No, you're going to have to troubleshoot it yourself. Because this is what I find on this particular make and model. Now, I'm thinking if you have a different model, you may have something similar wrong, but it's worth troubleshooting. Not that difficult. So hope this helps someone, hopes this saves you a couple hundred bucks. And if it does, be sure to leave a comment to help others. Thanks for watching.